and stuff. She got to me. Yeah, can we find a garbage can to throw that camera in? <laughs> so, Would you tell me before you go put me on camera? I don't ever get any warning. Do you do that to everybody or just to me? Pretty much. I mean, what's the point of giving you a heads up? I mean, you need to be ready all the time. Okay. You should know okay. by now. We're headed to uh, the doctor's appointment to see what they say about the old thumb there. Get it checked out. Hopefully it's uh, all good. We'll keep you posted as we uh, head that away and get done. This is the orthopedic clinic. It is a uh, this is a huge place. I got about a dozen bone doctors in there. That's theirs over there too. On the other side, that's where they do all their surgeries at so anyhow we're doing uh in and out in about 10 minutes luckily i don't know I how that happened i still got the stitches in my thumb go back in uh two weeks and he said all in all it looks it looks good so uh we just gotta hope that there's stuff that's healing over that bone in there now so that when this part does fall off that there will be something covering the bone if not then they're gonna have to trim the bone back and fix that up so we will keep our fingers crossed on that's there. right that's right you can't be calling me stubby oh my gosh. so what are we gonna do now jill we're going to the bank we're going to the bank okay going to the bank this is Right here by our hospital, there's our hospital over there. That's where I was at in the emergency room over there the other night. We don't mind about some insurance right here, too. But, uh, we'll just go around the parking lot. Mm hmm. Yup. Okay, Lord, here we go again. What do you do to deposit snow, Neil? I didn't do anything. Yeah, dude, did. He, he had him confused. <laughs> well, that's on me. That's not on me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's not been trained to deal with those <laughs> southern woman. <laughs> well, he's probably walked back in there in the main front. He's like, y'all, I had another one of them just come through. <laughs> toward the house now. <laughs> got any other stops you gotta make? Yeah, can we find a garbage can to throw that camera in? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, yes. my camera in it. I hadn't had this one that long. I've only had it since about May, so I can't chunk it in it. Although the new GoPros are coming out today, the 10, so uh, that's a good thing. Are you ordering one? No, uh, no, still still be using the nine and uh so I, i've got uh i actually got four gopros i got two nines and i got two fives and i'm gonna take uh once i get where i can where they'll start to trade in and stuff i'll trade in my two fives for for two tens then i'll have two tens two nines of and i got an osmo you like I camera was, gear like i like antiques i was had all my cameras out last night and I've got about 15 cameras. <laughs> I don't like chainsaws. Which do you have more of? Cameras I've or got chainsaws? more chainsaws than I do cameras. Okay. Several more chainsaws than I have cameras. So, uh, yeah. So y'all who are dog lovers, you know how it is when you're gone from home for a day and you get back. The dog's going bananas because you're back. He's happy to see you. We're gonna see a slade acts like that when I come walking in here. My guess is he probably is. We'll see. Let's see when we slip up on there. Look at here. <laughs> what I tell y'all when I got out of the truck, 
Look, look at him. He, he wants to hug me. Look at him. He, he wants to jump over the counter and hug me, don't he? He's refraining. I told y'all he's going to act like a dog that ain't seen his owner in a few days. I'm telling you, man. Look, the only thing that's keeping me from getting some sugar from him is that counter right now. I'm telling you, man. Where's my pistol? <laughs> I, can, uh, I, I, can, I can throw my knife. From him. <laughs> no, I don't like sharp objects, yeah, man. Let's right. stay away from them. So now I just left the store. Owen's Outfitters there, and I'm headed south here just a few miles to where the logging show is going to be at. We're going to go in there. I've already done had two or three texts from people that, that are doing the setup process, that kind of deal. So we'll go ahead down here and see what's going on with them. All right, it's right up here on the left. It starts kind of lightly misting, raining. This is where the headquarters of it is with this big pavilion. They have a lot of static stuff set up out here in the field well they got the other field down there is where it's where the static most static stuff is looks like then on the right this is highway 25 just a few miles south of uh starville very easily accessible it's open to the public anybody wants to come can uh, come on So this is where everything is at. There's a Rotobeck display over there. I'm gonna get out, run around here in just a little bit. There's John Deere. Stribling will be the dealer here for it. Well, look at him raking them chips. <laughs> they gonna have to with all this rain here on this ground man all right so here's the, here's the one i'm looking for right here Ooh, this is gonna be wet get all the mud so they got stuff all over we're gonna head over this way now kind of where John Deere is and then Tiger Cat's supposed to be on down there past uh, John Deere oh, that's Wilder so there's a John Deere bogey skitter this is where they're going to be running Looks like they're going to run a skitter and they got a processor over there and a trailer mounting loader pull through delimber. They got a bogey they're going to be running, looks like. 843. There's a 2156. There. And Tiger Cat's down there. So I just noticed a while ago, I was filming a story for Instagram. <laughs> that loader, they had to shove it all the way in there. You can see the bumper of it sitting on the ground. It's, uh, it needs to put this rain in because this is going to be a mess. Because this, this ground here can't really take any kind of rain on it. Man, you could take three inch rock and put on this place till you're blue in the face and it would still go down this is a tiger cat right here there's 632 726 and there's a 630 on the other side 724 they're a more bark dealer. This is gonna be B and G. This is gonna be the how the tiger cat site here. So they'll be running some more bark stuff. 
Look at that tree. They should have went in and cut that tree. There's an LX830E. Like ours. So they got a tire cut processor over there. And there's a more bar machine over yonder. All these places spend a good bit of uh, effort in kind of decorating things up to do a little bit of landscaping and things like that. It's actually pretty cool. A lot goes into that stuff. It's uh, not cheap for them to bring all these machines here because I mean they got these four or five sitting right here. They've got 12 or 13 machines sitting here. Y'all notice all the wood chips. They've covered everything in wood chips. Still raining too. Look at the axle on that. 632 here. That thing is a beast right there. It's got the big grapple on it. So just a second ago, I stepped out across the road there, kind of into the woods area like that. Oof. That was interesting. Very interesting. I bet they've had to pull some folks out. With it being so wet. Alright, so we're coming back across the main area here that over there is where I started at the tracks plus where the bandit stuff was this is a tri-state back here I'm going down over this way this is a road of it they always uh, do some real cool stuff for the shows. They paint up a grapple for the colleges that are local to where the shows are at. So it looks like this year they got a Mississippi State grapple, an Ole Miss grapple on the right, Alabama on the left. Those are all 4552s. So all the shows too, uh, Rotobeck has a Jumbotron brought in here. It's pretty cool. This is the same one that was up in Maine a couple years ago when I was up there at the head come in. That's the 16 inch grapple there. I love these RPAs. That's just a, like a giant version of what I have on my Kubota Mini. There, it's very cool. This one's got a saw on it too. It's gonna be like logger ways that he has. Grapple saws, love them. So normally it's hot as blazes over here in September when they have the show. And this year that's not the case. So heat will not be a factor. That's where they'll do the skitter competition at is over there. Oh, they got a backhoe hooked to that 
big truck there pulling him out. What a chain. inside the Merlot now. I've done conned him into letting me get inside of it here. He's gonna crank it up. What's the learning curve on this thing? Is it real it ain't real bad is it? No it's really not. You know the only thing you could call a learning curve in, in this type of telehandler is this pad here. Okay. Just because the outriggers you've got four of them like a crane. Sure. So that's really, other than that, you know, it's any forklift operator can jump in here and be at home. I got you. So all that controls are the same then mm -hmm. on it. So it's showing, it shows everything on here on this screen right here, everything where your boom is and mm -hmm. the different angles and the length out and all that stuff. Yeah. Does it tell like when you cut a piece off, does it tell like the weight of it that you've got out there on it too? It does. Now the tricky thing is when you, when you're, attached to that tree limb it's not going to read a weight right sure it's got to be weighted by yeah. itself then. Yeah. so that's where the the operator experience really comes into play sure because you can cut off a branch too big and the machine won't know it's too heavy until it's, on it's, it's too, yeah so um that's why some of these guys they they until they really get the feel for it mm -hmm. they, they they cut a little bit smaller yeah that, and that was that was my question was mainly was just you know will it once you've got it in your in the saw right there and got it cut off so it'll read you a weight up there on it what it's actually pulling on the on the head there that's pretty cool mm -hmm. it's just like a crane then yeah and but stuff. you don't need to be a certified crane operator to run it that's the beauty So I'm about to head back toward the house. We'll see if I can get around this big truck here without getting stuck. local uh, electric co-op always has a display set up and they do some demonstrations about getting in power lines and things like that show what they'll do So this is it. So that's scenes from the Mid-South Forestry show that's coming up, gonna be September the 17th, which y'all be watching this on the 17th, and September the 18th, Friday and Saturday show. Like I said in the video, it's open to the public. Anybody can come, you can just come in, sign in, pay your money. I'm not even sure what the fees are this year. I'll find out in the morning when, when I go there. 
Big thing, if you have not figured out that you need to make sure you wear the proper footwear for the conditions there by this video, I'm not sure what to tell you because there's a lot of girlfriends, wives, stuff like that. that I see them, you know, each time they're in sandals or flip-flops. It might not be the best choice to uh, to pick to go to this show uh, this time. Thank goodness, though, it's not 195,000 billion degrees for this one like it has been the last, I guess, three or four that I've been to over there. Uh, this one here is not, the uh, heat's not going to be an issue. So anyhow, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm going to be over Friday. Uh, still kind of uncertain on Saturday as to what I'm going to do. I'm kind of leaning toward not going over there, but if you're coming in, holler at me. My email's down below. Something like that. Do have several people that's going to be uh, here tomorrow, which oh, y'all yeah, be watching this on Friday. Be here on Friday. Going to be kind of uh, hooking up with them and and what have you. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see see how it ends up. But you can uh, Google it, find it. It's just a few miles south of Starville. If you're coming in and you're planning on staying, I don't think you're going to find any place to stay in Starville. You're going to have to probably come toward Columbus where I live, which Columbus is only about a 30 minute drive from this location. So it's, uh, it's not bad, but hopefully that gives you a quick little glimpse of what it looks like. I'll go while I'm over there tomorrow. I'll do some more filming. I, want, I like to go over there while they're sitting up, I like to talk to people uh, then. While the crowds are not there, I uh, spoke with the bandit guys uh, pretty extensively today about several different things that, that I had some questions on and, and all. But so anyhow, uh, it would be a good time. There's going to be some stuff running. Uh, the John Deere is going to have stuff running. It's Stribling's booth and Tiger Cat Wheel at B&G's booth. They're sitting side by side. And then uh, Tracks Plus, which is the bandit dealer. Uh, Bandit is going to have two, they're going to have a, in, a chipper running, a big one, 800 horsepower Caterpillar in it. And then they got a grinder that's got a 1200 horsepower Caterpillar in it that's going to be running too. They're going to be feeding it with a Barco uh, track loader, both of them. So they'll be making some noise. Uh, they got a lot of wood to grind up and chip up. So um, it'll be good. But if you see me, come up, uh, say hey to me, introduce you, uh, introduce yourself to me and stuff like that. It's always cool, cool to meet new people. I'll be, if we shake hands, I'll be shaking left-handed <laughs> instead of right-handed. Oh, thumbs, thumbs doing good. Doctor said it, it all looked good if you missed that in the first part of the video. But um, it's, uh, it's still swollen. It's still swollen. Got a lot of pressure on it, but it doesn't hurt at all and so i probably will have this i'm gonna have these stitches for uh two more weeks uh right here and you know that's that's okay i'm good with it because uh, it could have been a whole lot worse so maybe we'll see each other at the logging show over there in uh starville so we'll catch y'all later y'all be good later taters